10-day blues challenge in E, our second 10-day blues challenge. This is the round two, day three. Today, we're finger picking our 12-bar blues in E. Printable tabs for this and all our tutorials by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes as well. Email for some Skype lessons one-on-one. All right, remember, if you do all 10 days and you upload it to Instagram and tag us at 10 Thumbs Pro, hashtag 10 Day Blues Challenge, you have your own chance, your own opportunity to win an ukulele from 10 Thumbs. Also, if you stayed at the very end of the videos, you can see me having some fun and saying goodbye in different accents that are horribly done. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our ukulele. Brain and attention span, follow me on in and let's break down this finger picking 12 bar. All right, day number three. So here we go. We're gonna finger pick this time. Now, the basis of this is going to be able to move your thumb from the G string to the C string, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the same way on day one, we learned down, 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 down. On the first beat, it's the same thing that we're doing here, okay? One, two, three, four. And that's gonna be, if you were to go through the whole 12 bar, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That would be two measures, for example, okay? But let's work on this a little more. Okay, so we want to give it a little more movement though. So what we're going to do is make this sound on the first beat. And what we're doing is we're using our thumb on the G string, our index on the E, and our middle on the A. And we're going to go. Okay. I'm plucking down with my thumb, and I'm snapping with these two fingers up like this. And I'm trying to get the volume of each string to be more or less the same. One, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and after that, we're just gonna get our thumb to keep on moving. So let's just do that nice and slow for four measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Couldn't resist. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna add a little syncopation, a little movement on the offbeat to give it a little more flavor so it sounds like this. So what we're doing is all three of those strings on the first beat still, one, thumb on the second beat, two, and then our middle finger will play this A string on the off beat. One, two, and. One, two, and. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, four. That's why it was so important that we practice with our thumb at the beginning, just up and down, because we get one, two, and three. Four. One, two, and three, 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 four. Okay. So, at the very end, I'm going to show you a little, a couple things you can do to spice it up. But let's get just this down. Over the A7, same thing. You'll pluck the G string on the one, and then these two. Come down, second beat, two, off beat, E string, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Two measures, you be back to your E7. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. B7, you can use the bar, or you can use this shape. Same exact pattern, same rhythm. One, two, and three, four. 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 Two, three, four. Here we go for the change. Oops. Next change. 
Turn around. Finger picking blues, yeah, it sounds so gosh darn good. Well, the finger picking blues sounds so gosh darn good. I will want to share it with my whole neighborhood. Sounds so sweet. The sound. Okay, and there you have how to finger pick through this 12 bar blues. Now, more advanced students, as I promised, a couple little things that we can do to add some spice to it. Check this out. What I'm doing here is I'm going everything the same. One, two, and three. But I'm hammering into this note. When I come back on the third beat, one, two, and three, I'm playing the open G string and hammering on. Over the A7, you can do it, but you would do it here. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So if we were to play through the 12, 12 bar like that, we would get. Nothing in the turnaround. Unless you do the bar, then you can actually do that as well over the B7. In fact, there's a lot of things you can do with this finger picking. Um, you can mix it with the scale as well. But again, this is kind of ordered in sequential from easiest to hardest. So I wanted to start with just that basic one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay? All right, everybody, there it was. See you tomorrow for day number four. You're doing great. Thank you so very much for watching to the very end of this tutorial. Here at TinTomsPro.com, your learning is very important to us. Every single day, we work very hard so you can become a better ukulele player. Today, we learned how to finger pick. Day one was strumming the ukulele 12 bar in E, and day two was adding a strum. Tomorrow, who knows? The only way to see is to tune in and learn with us. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for day four in our 10 day blues challenge. Hashtag 10 day blues challenge at 10 Toms Pro on Instagram if you want your opportunity to win your very own ukulele. We will see you tomorrow and take care. Rock and roll. <laughs> Goodbye and have a lovely day. And remember, stay safe in these crazy times. I don't know how to say goodbye in Russian, but I would, I would say adios. So I will say adios in Spanish just because. Take care of yourself and rock and roll. I don't know. Take care.